Good morning, church family. I hope you are all doing great. Uh, thank you for continuing to listen to these sermons, uh, these daily devotionals. One of the things that's beautiful about them is that as I've studied them, I get a chance to sit back and reflect on how gracious God is through the multitude of different psalms we've been studying together. Now, Psalm 1, I don't even know how I missed it. It's the very first psalm in the book, and I haven't looked at it with you yet. Psalm 1 is this beautiful passage that shows us what it looks like to be part of the righteous way, to walk within the righteousness of our Lord. And I think what's beautiful about this passage is that it shows us clearly how things progress when we walk with the Lord or we walk in evil. So let's look at Psalm chapter 1 together. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. In verses 1 through 2, you see this uh, emphasis on what happens when someone walks down the path. And there's this step-by-step pattern. So this person who is in the council of the wicked uh, doesn't just sit in the council of them, but he also stands alongside them. And then he starts to sit in their seat and take part in their lifestyle. And that's a progression that happens in uh, the unrighteous life that the psalmist would have us see. But what happens with someone whose delight is in the law of the Lord? Well, the metaphor shifts at that point. We go from being a person who's walking towards disaster to someone who's like a tree. And not just a tree, but a tree planted by streams of water. And not just one planted by streams of water, but also a tree that's strong and yields its fruit in its season. Also one whose leaf doesn't wither. And then, and all he does, the metaphor shifts and is brought to prosper, prosperity. But, uh, but uh, unlike that, the wicked are people, unlike a tree, like a strong tree that bears its fruit, the wicked are like chaff. They're just, as soon as it's up and it dies, boo, the wind tear carries it away. Now, in our world, it might seem like we're constantly in this fight versus good versus evil. This constant feeling that if uh, the good always loses and, and evil always wins. But that's really not the way the world actually works. Temporarily, you might see someone get ahead because they've acted out evil. But in the long run, those that walk in the righteousness of the Lord will survive. Those that walk in the Lord's righteousness will endure. Unrighteousness has no f lasting place in this universe. Stop and consider that with me. Unrighteousness has no lasting place. We might see the stain of sin, but the actual stain isn't permanent because our God is righteous and he will scrub the earth of evil for all time. And that will be such a good day. Oh Lord, hasten the day. But that's an encouragement to people who easily get discouraged or look around and they see nothing but constant evil. It has an expiration date. Righteousness is what will endure. Those who do good before the Lord, that is what endures. And that's the thing that I want us to hold on to. If you hold on to the Lord, he will plant you like a tree and that will be a lasting fruit a lasting fruit into eternity. So the things that you do now will matter for eternity, which is such a beautiful thought. Friends, your life matters more than you could possibly know. And God has worked out his plan more than we can possibly imagine. So let's put our trust in him and let's continue to walk as people who walk in righteousness. Let's pray. Father, I pray that you would help us to see the difference between that which is true and that which is a lie. I pray, Father, that you would help us to walk with you in everything. Everything we have is yours. And I ask, with gracious God, that you would show us what it means to be your children. Thank you for the privilege that it is to be your ch child. And thank you that you love us more than we could possibly know. We ask that you'd help us to be trees planted by water instead of chaff that blows away. Help us to have this perspective when we get it discouraged or we see unrighteousness that just seems to constantly grow and fester. Help us to know that what's lasting is what's like you, and you are righteous. 
In your name, amen. You are very loved. If there's anything at all that you need, don't hesitate to reach out. And we'll look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care.